Hi Scrappy friends, this is Ingrid. I'm coming to you uh, with a video for a mini album that I have created. Um, and I'm actually putting this album up for sale. Um, this album runs 10 inches long by 6.5 inches in width and it has a 3 inch spine. Um, I have been MIA for a while, but that's, you know, that's just life. Um, but I have been creating here and there, and uh, this is an album that is just so beautiful, and I thought it would be great to sell this one. So let's talk about the cover a little bit. Uh, I've put here a handmade flower um, with some pretty die cuts. Uh, this is a frame that I have put together. Uh, I have embossing powder and glitters and it has about three layers. Um, and I also put these beautiful bling pieces. I don't know if you can see that. It's an embossed background and it's triple matted. And it has uh, some velvet, some flocked paper. Here's another um, handmade flower and this handmade flower uh, I don't know if the camera's going to be pick up on it but it has a lot of shimmer um, on it again I don't know if the camera will be able to pick up on that and um, on the side here I have this beautiful delicate lace um, you know it's not so um, you know so big it's just very dainty very classy looking I have here uh, this beautiful flocked paper um, also triple matted and this beautiful rhinestone these two rhinestone pieces I think they're acrylic actually um, they're really adorable and again just a little hint of glam and then in the back here um, it's another assemblage that I have put together. Here I have this beautiful mat in this um, vinyl glitter. doesn't come off. The, the glitter doesn't rub off. Here's a, a different really beautiful lace trim and these die cut pieces. And here you can just write down what you wish to label this album or your memories or you know anything of the sort. And then here I have created a really pretty uh, closure using ribbon, some very pretty ribbon, um, a ribbon buckle here, and some pretty uh, charms, very delicate pretty charms. And it just opens like so. Okay, so it just basically hooks onto that. All right, so now let's get into the album because it is it is it's 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 a compact album, but it holds a lot. This album holds between 80 to 100 photographs. So here is the first page. Okay, and this let me just see if I can put something underneath here. This first page, uh, you know, has some bling up top with some pretty um, hearts and just some decorative elements. This is a pocket page. And here is a photo mat for your, for your photographs. And here is a little booklet style with places for two photo mats just so pretty this paper is so pretty and then here on the second page this may be a little bit difficult to film um, just because I would have to like open up and uh, open up the mini album and I don't know if the camera is gonna be able to catch it but here is uh, the f uh, first page of the signature there are five signatures here or five sections so this is the first page of the signature and then you open this up. Here's one flap. 
great for photos. And just to give you an idea, I have some of my own photographs just to give you an idea of what it would look like once you place your photos down. So that way you can see. And I mean, that just looks stunning. Okay, and so that's that. And then here uh, you is a place for four, four by fours. Okay, so that's opens up that way, opens up this way. And here is another place for photograph. Okay. And here is a place for journaling. Nice little pocket there, decorative pocket. Close that up. And then in each of the signatures, we have pockets with large photo mats. So here I have a large photo mat, as you can see. Double sided. I mean, that just looks really gorgeous. Okay, and then the second page, right over here, here is a double pocket. Let's just see if I can get a better angle on this. Here is a double pocket, and here is a place for a two by two, or what I do is, I use a um, photo editing software that's called PicMonkey. It's, it's very popular. And so, like, you can print these out. So I'll have, I'll like print it out and I'll just, you know, cut it out. And what you can do is you can place your photographs. So just, you know, cut it there. And here would be a place for two photographs. And it looks really, really beautiful. Okay, and then here is a spot for a 4x4 four four, uh, with some journaling in the back. So that's that. And then this is a large tag with flocking paper. Paper with flocking. I don't know if you can tell. The camera can catch it. And then there's journaling in the back. So you want to journal all of your memories. The pockets are large enough to where, I mean, here I have like tons of photographs. And as you can see, fits perfectly in there. Okay, so that's just to give you an idea that you can really pack these up and, and still the album will work really nicely. Okay, so then here on the next page, really beautiful, in the next signature, you have place for a 4x4, four four, I'm sorry, a 4x6 photograph. I mean, it just looks so pretty. Okay, and then has really beautiful tr trim here very elegant and then you open open up the first flap and you can fit your four four by six photograph there you could even put a label down there if you wish and then you open it again and you have space for another photograph here and Sorry about that. And um, you have another space for photograph here. Okay, so just to give you an idea of, you know, what you can do and how you can have your, your photographs. So it would look so pretty. With your photographs in it. So I'm just um, remove these. Here's a place for journaling. 
There's a little tuck spot at the bottom. There's another tuck spot here at the top. As you can see, because if you wanted to put a five by seven here, it would fit. Um, I think I have a five by seven photograph. Um, let's see. This is a five by seven. So this, I just want to show you that the five by seven would fit in there as well. So you could have either a four by six or a five by seven. Okay. And then your next large mat. And then here, um, in the back, here is an envelope page. Okay, and in this envelope page, you can take the envelope out like this, or you can remove it like that. And this is a really pretty handmade envelope, and you can put in tons of pictures. Pictures fit in there, close it up, beautiful. Okay, so that is that. And it's, as you can see, it's double sided. Looks very, very pretty. Very gorgeous paper. Right there. And then here on this page, you can tell this is so pretty. This flourish is so pretty and it is on an acetate piece. And so then what you can do is grab your photograph and slide it in right there. And there you have it. Okay. And then here, so you open the first flap. And here is a spot for a photo. And four by four fits here. Four by four fits fits here. And then you have a space for either a four by six photograph or a five by seven. So it fits both. Okay, and here's a label up at the top so that you can jot down anything you'd like. Decorative corners there. Okay, and then on this page, on this page here, you have some tuck spots. So here is a large tag with spot for journaling in the back, tiny tag for pretty much the same, but I just wanted to give you an idea again with these little little photographs that they fit there as well. So all you would have to do is just like cut it off at the bottom because you can print these from Pick Monkey. you can print these where you can get four or you can get a little bit larger because um, I think these are two by two actually no these are one and a half by one and a half so you can get them to print out either two by two or two by three and then so those are tuck spots and this this paper is flocked it looks like velvet Okay, so that looks very pretty. And then this page, which is one of my favorite pages in the album, this page um, has a beautiful handmade flower 
on a very pretty decorative ribbon. And this opens up like so. So you I'll open it here. You open it like so because it has a magnet. So you open it here and here. And you get this really beautiful spread. I mean, look at how pretty that looks. Just bring it forward. And this paper here is foiled. I mean, it is gorgeous. And then this one here is glitter paper. And this is the kind of glitter that does not um, does not rub off, as you can see. It's really, really beautiful. And you could put a few 4x4 four four pictures tucked in there. So that closes up, like so. Okay. And then here, you can pull on these two. And you have spots for more photographs. Okay. And this is also very beautiful foiled paper. Now you do have to guide this in uh, because it is a bit tight. Um, but you have to guide it a little bit as you saw. And then here is another large photo mat. You can Place your photographs there and with flocking paper in the back. Okay, and so the next page, this is also another bit of a bit of a wow page because when this opens up it gives you space for a lot of photographs. So I just have this handmade closure here, uh, this pretty little string, and then when you open it, you open it like so, and I just wanted to show you that with these um, pictures you can print out, your own pictures that you can print out using PicMonkey, um, PicMonkey.com, okay, you can print these kinds of pictures out. And so, just to give you an idea of how that will look. I mean, this is really, really spectacular when you see it, you know, with all the photographs. I mean, it's beautiful without photographs, but when you add your own photographs, it makes it a million times more beautiful. But these are great, like I said. You can print them out in this size. There's a one that's a little bit bigger. You can do that size as well. But I, ju I just wanted to give you an idea of what you can do. And then I just have a sticker here that says Making Memories. Very, very pretty. And then I have this beautiful die cut that I backed um, with some plastic just to protect it because it was very fragile. So I wanted to do that. And then this here is um, foiled paper. Super pretty. So you would open it like so. This is on magnets. Okay, so you open it like so. And you have, again, more places for more photos. And so here, as you can see, I mean, that would be another place for photographs. If you didn't want to put photographs in, you don't have to. Um, the paper is so beautiful that it, it really just stands on its own. This paper is from the UK. Um, I forget the name of the brand. I think it's called Do Crafts, but I'm not sure. 
And so you have that. And then you open it once more. And you get this spread. Isn't that beautiful? And here's another spot for, again, for photos, if you wish. Okay, so you see that. And then you have really beautiful little journaling spots here on this gorgeous um, foiled paper. I don't know if the camera can pick up on the foiling on it. Um, you have another one down here. Here I just did some embellishing. And then two have journaling spots and then two just have these really uh, pretty tags with some with some saying. And even this is backed here as well, so that when you take the, t the tag out, you're still looking at really pretty paper. Okay. Then here you open it once again. And here, again, you have a place for more photographs. And then here is a large space for either... Um, either a four by six, okay, or a five by seven. So I just want to let you know that if you have some, some, uh, this accommodates um, varied sizes. Uh, so you can have a four by six, four by four, uh, five by seven, you know, two by three, one and a half by one and a half, as you can tell. So, and then, so here is a spot, as you can tell, for a photograph. This will accommodate most likely a 4x4, four four, although you could fit a 4x6 there as well. And then here's another one. Here's another large tag with foiled paper. And then you have the same thing here. So it's a mirror of the other. And then lastly, you have this large spread here as well. Another 5x7, five 4x6, by four by or two 4x4s. Four by and I just want to just want to show you how much this opens. Okay, so that way I wouldn't be able to show you how far this opens. Well, only like that. But uh, I just wanted to show that to you so that you could see. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I think I forgot to close these guys. So it looks like this and like that. Then like so, like so, like so. Okay, and then you have, bring these two down. Okay, and then bring this over. Like that. And then you put your string. Will be your closure. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to this page. And then here I just have this little small um, library pocket that I made here with this beautiful crochet trim with some rhinestones and this really pretty ribbon and it just pulls out and it's just a spot to either put another little picture or something. Then here I have um, a large tag. So you can put your photograph there. Okay, I also have other... Um, let me just see. Okay. You could put your photograph there. This is a handmade flower. Here you could put a 4x4. Four four. 
And then here I have a little booklet that I made with this pretty red shimmer paper. It's like a dark red on the outside and a matte red on the inside. But it looks really, really pretty. And you just put your photographs there. So that's that. And then we also have this, which is um, double-sided. Again, put your photographs there. Let me just see what I have. Put your photographs there. Okay, I mean, I'm just giving you some, some ideas as to what it would look like. Oh, here's this really pretty, this is what it looks like without the tags inside. And there's more space in here because this gusset is pretty thick. So you can fit more photographs in there. Okay, here's another, here's another tag, what large tag with this decorative element. Okay. And then here is a side pocket and this is where you can put your extra photos because you know we always take so many photographs so you put your extra photos there and it's also embellished with a really beautiful crochet flower with some rhinestones and some pretty bling um, and then here I love this page this is another waterfall as we all, you know, it's like we have to have the waterfalls, you know, just to add more pictures. But here's another crochet flower. Very pretty. This is uh, held down by the spelly band. But here you have spots for your photographs. And a lot of the paper is really like specialty paper. It's just so beautiful, this paper. So you have this, and then, I mean, it literally just keeps on going. And then here's a spot, very nice spot for journaling. So you've got all of these and the journaling. And then here's a little hidden spot there for another photograph. See how it fits perfectly, the 4x6? You have it in the back. Okay, and so this tucks in very nicely in there. Has a little tab. And then here is the other uh, large tag. You can also... Oh! Put your photograph there in the back. You can have your photograph here and it'll still have a nice place for journaling. And then we come, we're nearing the end now and here this nice, very beautiful, I mean this, pa this glitter paper is so gorgeous I don't want to cover it up. Then we have these pretty really pretty um, decorative elements, these hearts, and then you could just put your photograph there and it looks it looks so beautiful. It's so hard to get this <laughs> totally in frame, but um, so it holds four by six or five by seven. Okay, and then here I made one of these like uh, Kathy Orta style uh, pockets with this beautiful, um, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a vinyl. Uh, it's like you put it on, on top of, I guess, uh, you know, some upholstery or whatever, but it's really durable and it's, it's very shiny and it's very high quality. So I have this pretty decorative elements there. Okay, and this is also on mag